Right now, a Medford Middle School community is in mourning after a young student died by suicide this week. Hedrick Middle School notified parents of the tragedy yesterday afternoon, offering services to anyone in need. NBC 5's Miles Federici spoke with Jackson County Mental Health today to learn more. Miles? Craig, Kristen, Jackson County Mental Health wants everyone to know help is out there. From school district staff to county services, they want everyone to know that it's important we talk and ask those closest to us, how are you feeling? On this Tuesday, a school is mourning for the loss of a student. What's important for students to know is that there are adults who are um, here for them, who care about them. It's okay to have uh, these feelings and let's talk about them. On Monday, Hedrick Middle School notified parents that one of its students died by suicide. In response to the tragedy, the Medford School District is offering support to those in need. We know that it is our responsibility to provide our students with the resources that they need to be able to cope with tra tragedies. But outside of school, experts say having that discussion in your family is just as vital. We need to really focus on the people that are left and need to support them. So asking what how they're feeling about it is super important. Kristen Fedig of Jackson County Mental Health has discussions about suicide with middle school and high school students across the county. She says on average, she and other mental health counselors visit individual classes once or twice each year. Do you mm -hmm. think that's enough though? No, I think it's something that should be, it's in health classes, that's where I'm usually going and doing the presentations. And um, I think it needs to be happening more. And, and it's, it, it starts at home, just like everything. It starts at home having these conversations that mental health is, is something that's normal. Fedig says as a community, we need to be supportive of those with mental health issues. Having that support could help make a difference. So the more we break down the stigma around mental health um, and it being okay to seek services, the more we're going to see people reaching out when it comes to suicidal thoughts. According to the World Health Organization, suicide is the second leading cause of death among 15 to 29 year olds. Live in the studio, Miles Luigi, NBC5 News. Miles, thanks. The Medford School District says several resources are available to students and staff should they have thoughts of suicide. The district says they have trained and licensed counselors at every school and a suicide prevention specialist who tours the schools, providing students with resources on coping mechanisms and advice on prevention. But the district says the most important relationship is between students and their teachers. We do see that our students talk to the um, adults in their building that they trust and, and we hope that they continue to do so and that they reach out for help when they need it. The school district says there is a response line to help teachers, staff and law enforcement respond to safety concerns and threats of suicide. The Safe Oregon line is operated by Oregon State Police and manned 24 seven. It's also free. You can call or text 844-472-3367. Resources are also available outside of schools. If you are in crisis, call the Lines for Life Youth Line, a teen to teen crisis and helpline at 877-968-8491 or text teen to teen to 839-863. You can also connect online at OregonYouthLine.org. All this information also on our website.